From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. It is September 1st, and I'm Wendell Edwards. We thank you for being here. Here are today's top stories. Cracking down on those breaking the COVID-19 mask mandate. In New Haven, the mayor there announced the city's task force will soon start visiting businesses not enforcing its indoor mask mandate. In New Haven, masks are required in all indoor public places when people are not eating or drinking. You need to be wearing a mask when not eating or drinking. If you're entering the business and you're going into the business, you should have your mask on when entering a business. Um, and so it's really critical that if even if you're waiting in line and there is no possibility of social distancing, you keep that in mind because you're going into a business. And so we're expecting mass compliance. We don't want to get businesses in trouble. We don't want to find businesses. We don't want to shut down businesses. New Haven says it will implement a three tier system with a verbal warning first, followed by a written warning and then a $100 fine and closure. One of the largest school districts in the state started the school year today. New Britain school started with some changes. Students are wearing masks and social distancing three feet apart. In this school year, New Britain school officials say they plan to put a big emphasis on mental health. The superintendent says the first two weeks of the school year will be dedicated to making sure the students are comfortable. All right, we are in early warning weather alert mode all the way through Thursday morning as the remnants of Ida will produce very heavy rain on top of an already saturated ground. We have a flash flood watch up not only statewide but region wide with at least two to five inches of rain locally higher amounts. When we say that we could see some totals in few communities say hit six, seven, maybe even eight inches. So uh, poor drainage flooding basement flooding, flash flooding. If you're along a small stream, creek or river, uh, those rapidly respond to heavy rain. So those could rise out of their banks. So be uh, situationally aware as we head through the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. So we do have rain that will increase in intensity and coverage as we head toward and past sunset basically gangbusters through the overnight hours. And then as we head toward the morning commute Thursday, conditions start to improve from west to east with the sun coming out by lunchtime tomorrow. Temperatures on Friday with a lot of sunshine in the mid 70s with low humidity. The upcoming weekend looks pretty good. Dry Saturday, a chance for an isolated shower or storm Sunday. Low 80s for Labor Day Monday.